Hi, I'm Cameroon, and I'm Alex Van Pelt, and this is what's happening and what's up in the Counter-Strike world. The iBuy Power Cup happened this past weekend at the eSports Arena and brought eight teams along to fight for the first place prize of $65,000. The tournament also added a sweet bonus to the teams who were not invited to the Intel Extreme Masters San Jose event by allowing the top team, not Cloud9 or Luminosity, the last spot in the event. The event, which ran along iBuyPower's eSports day, provided the community with some fantastic matchups and also some upsets. In the groups, we saw Conquest, who had a strong showing at the SIVO Season 8 Finals, lose both of their matches, which sent them home early. Also, Winter Fox, Renegades, and Complexi couldn't secure the final wins to get them to the semifinals. Cloud9, Luminosity, Team Liquid, and CounterLogic Gaming showed up to the semifinals ready to play, but something seemed off for Luminosity and CLG. Both teams were eliminated by Cloud9 and Team Liquid, who were able to pull into the grand finals with some impressive scores over LG and CLG. The grand final is now ready with Team Liquid picking cash for their map and Cloud9 choosing Inferno with the decider, if needed, being Cobblestone. With the final starting with cash, Cloud9 quickly told Liquid that cash is their map, even though Liquid chose it with an impressive win of 16 to 5. Liquid decided to mimic their foe and told Cloud9 that Inferno was their map with an even more impressive win of 16 to 4. This brought us to the final deciding map, Cobblestone, which went to 15-15 and Cloud9 secured the win with four straight rounds over Liquid. So congrats to Cloud9 with a solid win this past weekend and snagging the iBuy Power Cup. Don't feel bad for Team Liquid though. They were able to secure the final spot for the Intel Extreme Masters San Jose event after their 2-0 victory over CounterLogic Gaming in the semifinals. So we'll be seeing three of the teams who made it to the semifinals of this event compete this upcoming weekend. Do you think this win will give Cloud9 the extra energy to take down some Europeans? Let us know. Over the weekend, ESL ESEA have finished the placing for the Europeans in the ESL ESEA Pro League Finals, which are scheduled to happen December 10th through the 13th. Team Solomid, Fnatic, Navi, and Envious are the four European teams that will meet Liquid and Luminosity with two other yet to be announced North American teams in Los Angeles to compete for their share of the $250,000 prize pool. Envious is the favorite to win here as they've been the team to beat since they smashed it into Collusion of Polka and ran away with the trophy. Happy, Kenny S, Kiyoshima, NBK, and Apex have earned the jealous attention of their foes. And even though they're confident going into the tournament, they'll have to fight both tooth and nail for the title. Personally, I would like to see Liquid take some of the experience from Face It and other recent tournaments to restructure their strats and give them that little push that they need to make it into the finals. They're probably the best shot that a true North American team has, not counting the Brazilian Luminosity team, and I would like to see Liquid or someone from North America make it to the finals here. It'd be nice to end the 2015 season showing the improvements that North America has made and set the stage for 2016, the year of North American CS. The Counter-Strike global offensive scene was shocked and stunned by the announcement of Pronax stepping down from his legendary position in Fnatic. Pronax has been with the organization for two years and is regarded as one of the best in-game leaders around. Also, he's a fantastic rifler when needed to be. Under his lead, he was able to bring the Fnatic team to four major finals and has won three of them. Who knows where he'll be going, but I can only hope for the best. Fnatic has also announced in the same article that replacing Pronax will be Dennis from G2. Dennis joins back up with past teammates Krims and Olaf who played together in LGB. I can only hope that this addition will bring Fnatic back to the top of the CS world after a subpar performance at Cluj Napoca. So now, this leaves G2 needing a player to fill a spot, and I'm sure you've heard Dennis' replacement. AZ from Dignitas will now be joining G2 after playing for 10 months under MSL. AZ has made a name for himself as one of the hottest up-and-coming talents, and I'm sure this will only improve G2's game. We should be see him playing with the team at the upcoming IEM San Jose event. And lastly, Pimp from Dignitas is also stepping down from his position in the team. This left two open spaces to fill, and Dignitas were able to fill them with Config and Rubino, who both come from Copenhagen Wolves. Config, coming from teams like Reason and SK Gaming, is a big talent in the Denmark scene and will only improve the Dignitas lineup. And Rubino is a CS veteran who has played for teams like London Conspiracy and LGB. Within the article, it states that all the players now speak the same language, so there should be no communication issues, as Schneider stated when leaving the team earlier this year. These lineup changes have caused a lot of discussion in the community, but what do you think? I'm having a hard time imagining Pronax not playing for Fnatic, 
but this could be good for both him and Fnatic. Team Liquid snatched the last North American spot away from Cloud9 to qualify for the Face It Stage 3 Finals. Team Liquid countered Cloud9 strats and capitalized after seeing them in recent tournaments to beat them in both of the deciding matches, giving them the last spot for the finals set to be held in Sweden. Also joining the eight teams is newly announced Australian team Legacy Esports. Originally, they entered the tournament as Animal Squad, and after securing their spot in the tournament, the roster of Raz, Ofnu, Moku, Mizu, and Busta were deservedly picked up by Legacy Esports on contract. The teams joining Liquid and Legacy in the Face It Stage 3 Finals are Luminosity, Virtus Pro, Envious, Team Solo Mid, Ninjas in Pajamas, and Fnatic. From November 26th through the 28th, you should be able to tune in at twitch.tv forward slash faceittv as these teams fight to win the $40,000 first place prize. But if the stream changes, we'll let you know. Based on previous showings, I anticipate Virtus Pro, Envious, Fnatic, and Luminosity are going to make it into the semifinals. Ninjas in Pajamas, Team Solo Mid, Liquid, and Legacy are contenders, having each earned their spots for the tournament. I don't know if they can pull a win out this time. If Ninjas in Pajamas can get some energy built up and keep things feeling fresh throughout the tournament, they have a good chance to hit the finals. Liquid and Legacy are fairly new to the major tournament scene, so I don't really see them making it out of groups. That leaves us with the Dark Horse, Team Solomit, who really could show up in beast mode and take the tournament. I just don't see these four making their way through the nearly unstoppable Envious, a fearsome fanatic, and the Polish Plow Virtus Pro to snag the victory. Who do you think will take the championship? Did you agree with anything I said? Throw it in the comments. For your moment in CS, even the pros know how milliseconds in your gameplay can determine whether you get a diffuse or not. And being less than a second late, Adrin knows this pain a little too well. Gonna push forward, Fugly, he's through the vents. Nothing hasn't spotted him, he's late to turn. Fugly gets that kill and now it's Freakazoid who has to clutch it out. Liquid with one kill remaining and the victory is theirs. They won't take the bait, Freakazoid holds his trigger. He tries to take the diffuser, but it's traded. That's right, he gets it, it's 10 seconds on the diffuse. I'm not sure he's got this. This might not be done just yet. No, I'm not 100% sure, it's gonna be so close. 